Hi guys, Chrysalis here. Sorry I haven't uploaded in so long. I haven't really known what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel, but lately I've been feeling a bit inspired and I figured I might just start uploading again, just to see how it goes. And if it works, then great, I'll probably upload more frequently. This is actually a video I've been thinking about doing for a long time, so I figured hopefully this will be a good way to start uploading again. But anyway, in today's video I'm going to be showing everyone who watched my Pokemon video how to actually get the Pokemon yourself using the methods that I did. The reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people are in the comments asking for these Pokemon and it just became too much of a demand and I couldn't do it. So I'm really sorry for not getting back to everyone that commented. I just didn't know what to do and it was too much. So I hope you can understand guys. Also for anyone wanting to do the things that I did in this video, you're going to need some money and you're going to need to do some research on where to get the things that you will need to get. But I'll be showing you what you need to get and if anyone has any questions just feel free to write them in the comments and I promise I will reply as quickly as I can. Okay so the first thing and the main thing you're going to need is one of the first original Nintendo DS's. I think they're also called the IQ DS or something like that but you can find them online. The only thing is is that you want to make sure that you get a decent quality one not one that's broken and one that actually comes with a charger. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is Action Replay. Now I know there's many types of Action Replays out there, but the one on the screen now is the one that I used to get the Pokemon. It may work with others, but please get this one here. It's the one with the little Hippo Pokemon on the left, and the picture of the green Bowser on the right. You need to get this. You're also going to want your decent 3DS, which you're going to transfer the Pokemon onto. You will also need Pokebank and Poketransfer, which you can download from the Nintendo store. I think it costs about £5 for a year's membership, but you definitely, definitely need these to transfer Pokemon onto the DS and onto the game that you actually want them to be on. Okay, so as we all know, the Pokemon Bank has a, an anti-hack wall. So any Pokemon that are blatantly hacked will not get through this barrier. That's why they don't allow them to be transferred through. But I found a way to make them so that the Pokemon seem legit so that you can get them through. And the way this works is that you have to catch the Pokemon in the environment that you find it normally in the game when you do not use the cheat. For example, uh, a Caillou Rem I know that you can only get in an ice cave at the end of the Pokemon Black versions. If you were to catch of that, in the grass outside Pallet Town, the anti-hack software in this Pokemon bank will detect that it's not legit and it will not let you transfer it through. You also have to set the level of the Pokemon as close to the level as you would find it in the wild. And the reason this is, is because the Pokemon has certain moves and the Pokemon bank can detect what moves your Pokemon has. So if you have a level 5 Pokemon, a level 5 Kyurem with level 40 moves, it's going to detect that it's not legit and it will not be allowed to be transferred through. This whole leveling and environment business only works mostly with the legendary Pokemon. Any other normal Pokemon should be fine. You can just use the cheat that allows you to spawn certain Pokemon in the wild and then you can catch them that way. But just to make sure that they don't get blocked by the hack and it might take a bit longer, but breed two Pokemon or just get a ditto, breed the one that you want to get and hatch the egg and then transfer that because that counts as a legitimate born new Pokemon. Once you have all the Pokemon that you want to get, you need to go to this Pokemon transfer building on the screen right now. And then what you need to do is transfer the Pokemon that way through there. This is when you need to start linking up your two DSs. So what you are doing now is transferring the Pokemon from black or white to on the old DS to Pokemon X or Y on your new 3DS, okay? When you transfer the Pokemon, they will be placed in the Poke Transfer. Once they're in the Poke Transfer, you transfer them from there into the Poke Bank, which will then allow you to put them on your Pokemon X or Y game. And from there, you can do whatever you wish with the Pokemon. You don't even have to put them on Pokemon X or Y. As long as they're in the Pokemon Bank, and you own Pokemon X, Y, Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby or even maybe Pokemon Sun and Moon, they will still be obtainable and still be accessible through the Pokemon Bank. To get certain Pokemon such as Darkrai, Pokemon that are only obtained by events, you have to get a code from the website in the description below which activates the event in the game to allow you to go and capture it and that way it is legit because you caught it in the event. 
just make sure that you get the right code for the right game like if you've got the EU version of the game or the US version or the Japanese version of the game but that's pretty much all there is to it when it comes to obtaining the Pokemon like I said earlier on if anyone has any trouble or any questions please feel free to message me in the comments and I will definitely reply as soon as I can it might be a bit difficult to start off with because it might be a bit confusing but if you just be patient and practice you will definitely be able to do it in no time. If anyone manages to do this feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. It will be super cool to see that you've all understood properly and that my explanation hasn't been confusing. But anyway I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again guys and I'll see you soon. Later.